Now, a couple of days ago, I put out a post on my YouTube community page and my Facebook page about video topics. I was hoping that you all would suggest video topics for me, and uh, you guys delivered in force. So the very first thing that I remember seeing was covering a 7-Eleven. What is 7-Eleven like in China and Chinese convenience stores in general? Well, you're in luck because I am just in front of a 7-Eleven today. It's the closest one to my house, but the thing is it's under all of this crap. Uh, they're doing all this remodeling uh, around the first ring road here in Chengdu. But we're going to go inside here and we're going to take a look and see what 7-Eleven in China has to offer and the prices um, of most of the things you guys might want to buy. The thing I like about 7-Eleven in China is that it's just a lot, a lot of snack food and like proper food. So you come in and you'll see things like um, coffees and things, 7 yuan, a uh, little bit of makeup. 45 coca-cola 2.5 for a can uh, there's a lot of things so you can of course get all these kinds of unique potato chip flavors that you don't get in the usa um yeah anything from cucumber to pure tomato flavor <laughs> and wasabi and uh matcha so there's all kinds of things all of these run six kwai so less than one dollar for all of these and then if you look over here, you've got beef jerky, which is uh, good enough. So this is 17.5 yuan for 35 grams. So I don't know if that's really expensive or not. I do not usually buy beef jerky. So I'm just gonna let you guys see the prices for these things right here. So it ranges from, you know, 10 to 35. Um, you got some oily ones, you got some dry ones and all of that. Then you've got your La Tiao, which is a, uh, oh, I don't know how to explain La Tiao. And then, yeah, generally speaking, you've got these. You're gonna wanna carry these around with you in China because a lot of these bathrooms don't have toilet paper. So 1.5 yuan for a little thing of TP. And all of this can be bought as well. So Kleenex is more tissues, about a dollar. Um, ladies needs, 45 here, 39. Etc. Etc. You can buy underwear. You can buy socks. You can buy um, all kinds of stuff. School supplies. So here, let's take a look at my favorite part, which are the actual like it's the actual food and drink. So I I quite like these 7-Eleven sandwiches. If I'm honest, um, I think these are pretty good right here. The ham and egg. There's some ham and salami and cheese. And so it's just eight kwai, nine kwai. So a little over a dollar for sandwiches so some of them are a little bit more but i feel like it's a, a fair price 8.9 for um a kind of noodle dish and um it's it's great i do love 7-eleven in china um there's just there are so 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 many choices mm, so so many choices that's about two dollars and um you have all the drinks so uh, if you've got kind of an upset stomach, I'd recommend this one. It's called Yo EC. Um, it's like a live culture um, probiotic thing. So you can drink that, sort your right out for 7.5 yuan, a little more than a dollar. And um, then you get over here and do your more kind of Chinese food right here. So 10 kwai for something like this, 16 kwai for something like this. Um, is that rice with cheese on top of it? Oh, that's quite strange. Um, <laughs> then you've got um, what looks to be kind of hay. So black pepper chicken wrap, rice wrap uh, for three kwai. All right, less than 50 cents. Then you've got your instant rice, instant noodles, all that kind of stuff. Let's check over here at the drinks, which uh, some of you may be interested in. Gatorade, five kwai, and um, Jack Daniels Mixer, 18 kwai. You can get some types of beer, so 13, uh, 15, 18 kwai. 12 for a Corona, you got 5.5 for Asahi. Most of the foreigners here in Chengdu prefer the red Asahi, so 5.5 for a beer is not too expensive. And then a water, 1.5 for a small one, two kwai for a normal, like 20 ounce bottle of water. 
uh, three yuan for Coke, Coke Zero, Pepsi, Sprite, uh, any like basic um, sodas. Those are going to be three yuan. So, um, yeah, pretty much nothing in this case here is going to cost, you know, more than five or six yuan per bottle. Um, so, uh, let's let's keep going a little bit. You can get little treats right here. You can get a Magnum. Um, if you guys are into Magnum ice cream bars, I think those are seven or eight kwai. And um, uh, yeah, I think that's that's mostly it. Um, they do, wow, they don't have very much in terms of bread right now. Um, but they do have like baked goods. They have terrible donuts. Don't get the donuts. Um, but there are lots and lots and lots and lots of choices. Um, and 7-Elevens do vary in size. They do vary in size, so um, this is a kind of a bigger one. But you can get some that are, well, now this is about an average size 7-Eleven. So you can get a lot of things that you're familiar with and a lot of things that may be new to you, like caramel flavored sunflower seeds. <laughs> so yeah, I, I hope that this video was interesting uh, to you guys. and. Who knows, maybe I'll see you at a 7-Eleven near me. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that you will like and you know subscribe and all that. If you have any more suggestions for future videos, please, please, please let me know. Um, I would love to cover more and more about living in China for anybody who's willing to watch. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna grab one of these probiotic drinks because I really do love them and I will um, see you all next time.